Greens and welcome to unboxing Real Littles Disney version. As you can see here, we have the Real Littles Disney locker and the Real Littles Disney backpacks and Real Littles Disney handbags too. If you're unfamiliar with Real Littles, these are basically miniature stationery that actually work that are inside little bags that look so cute. Sometimes these are absolutely phenomenal and other times they are. Absolute trash. So I'm really curious to know if this new set is actually worth your cash or if it goes. M the trash. More specifically, I want to focus on the locker because the last time we did a locker, it was so... <laughs> That's how I felt on the inside. But on the outside, this is what I said. So far, I'm going to rate this probably a 3 on 10. Nowhere near as exciting as the Real Littles backpacks, nor the Real Littles handbags. Even the journals were way better than this. And so we have a set of Ursula and Snow White bags. And the other two are Alice in Wonderland. And I have no idea what the zombie things is. Was Zombies 3. Never seen this before. So I don't know how I feel. I don't I don't even I don't know how I feel about this. If you know what show this is and you watch and you like it, let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, let me know in the comment section below which one of these five do you think is going to be the biggest absolute dumpster. And hey, if you're new here, welcome in. We are greens in the salt shaker family and if you don't subscribe we do wave sharp pointy things well we do it anyways just welcome in click on all notifications while you're there so we all know that a good night's sleep makes a huge difference from feeling a little salty to feeling like yourself even the salt shaker knows it which is why i'd like to thank today's sponsor helix sleep for sponsoring today's video much like many of you grains i do have sleep problems namely insomnia so after trying my helix mattress for three weeks i am really excited to tell you how it is Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. But, 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 wait. If you're a little hesitant about buying a mattress that you haven't tried online, don't worry because you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 10 year warranty, financing options, and flexible payment plans. So you get more than three months to try out your mattress and if it's not for you, they'll pick it up for you and give you a full refund. So yes, you heard that right. Not only is your mattress delivered to you for free within the US, but if it's not your thing, they will also pick it up for free. And it comes rolled up in a box as you see here and it's really easy to set up yourself. Now I wasn't sure what kind of mattress I would have to get, so I went ahead and did their quiz which was very detailed and I was paired with the Helix Plus. Since I I am a side sleeper. I love a mattress that is somewhere between soft and medium and share my mattress with Pat. I mean, it is my mattress now. <laughs> And as a Canadian, I actually like it when things are cool. We even keep the window open in the winter. So the Glaciotex cooling cover is just perfect because we don't have to keep the windows open, but we can still feel cool. And let's just be honest, Pat and I paid way more for a more premium mattress and the Helix one performed better. So we're gonna have to give away the other mattress now. And it does help support my back as someone who does have back problems. So I know I love my Helix and I feel like many of you grains would as well. So if you're looking for a new bed, check my link down below helixsleep.com forward slash nerdy crafter to get up to $200 off and two free pillows. That's helixsleep.com forward slash nerdy crafter for up to $200 off and two free pillows. Thank you Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video and being supporters of this channel. You may have noticed the salt shaker is actually red and that's because the previous experience was negative so we start off a little salty until proven otherwise. So let's go ahead and move these ones to the side. Off you go. There. And as you can see, this Disney bundle comes with a mini mouse backpack, a locker, and also seems like decals, stickers. It should be fully themed. Now this is not supposed to be a surprise box. So everything that we get here should be the same. I'm wondering if it's really different from the previous one or if they just put different stickers. But the only way to find out is to see what we get inside. So it seems like we have a locker backing, which I'm not liking this one bit, but we'll get there when we get there. So let's put this aside. Let's move the locker also aside and let's look at the special edition backpack. Oh, yeah, it is a backpack. Yeah, totally a backpack. Now it is a soft vinyl type. I'm guessing a, yeah, the, the ears are hard. The face is soft. It's okay. It's not my preferred type of backpack that Real Little makes because it means that the items on the inside are in another bag. Let me demonstrate. Here's the zipper. <gasps> There's nothing? Wait, 
are they joking? Okay, maybe maybe the stuff is gonna be in the locker, right? Hmm? Please, please, this is not cheap. It's $25. All right, let's open the locker. Is there a special way to do it? I think we just have to turn the dial. Oh, gosh. There we go. We have the dial. The locker is open. Better nice. And what do we get? Okay, so everything is... <laughs> this is $25? You're joking, right? So the locker itself looks exactly like all the other lockers that we've gotten in this set, which are basically copies of each other. Don't think of it as a mystery box, because they look exactly the same. I just thought there would be like, you know, notebooks and things. But okay, let's let's just open it up. Alright, since the pink is a little intense, let's go ahead and untensify it with my blue felt. I'm telling you, this here is a lot less interesting than the first one, because at least I'm looking at a picture of the first one. There was a notebook, there was a mirror, okay, there's a mirror here, there was a pen, little magnety things, there were decals, there was a charm, there was a, a basket to put your things in. There was way more going on. So let's let's keep looking. Maybe maybe I'm gonna be wrong. A little unlikely, but maybe. All right, the first thing we have is a sticky, sticky notes. Of course, of course, sticky notes. Okay. And then we have a chandelier. They couldn't even put an effort into making the chandelier Disney themed. It's exactly the same. Fine, go, go away. It's exactly the same as the previous one. Now, I don't know what those chandeliers are. I've never had one in any of my lockers growing up in high school, or even we didn't have lockers in elementary school, but we didn't have, we did have in high school, but we didn't have any chandeliers. I've never seen these before. We have a mirror, which I believe. Okay, so how do we get this off now? Okay, there we go. I believe the mirror's pretty good. So, no, it's a little distorted. So, right here. Hello, I am distorted. <laughs> All right, distorted mirror. No. Okay. Okay. I was about to lose my shrimp. I thought these were not. Di these are. These are still not kind of Disney. There's one Disney themed here. There's one Mickey Mouse saying, which is, oh boy. Did I do that right? I think I did it pretty good. Oh boy. Anyways, there's two items that are Disney themed. Everything else, no. Next sheet, we have. Okay, couple more Disney items, and then two random bits of stickers. And then we have more miniature stickers, random. Some of them are Disney related, others are, this is a lot of fluff. Others are not, it's a lot of stickers. And that's a double, I guess this is not on purpose. So I'm guessing we got double of this, not on purpose. And just random, random shrimp. We have the uh, shelves. <laughs> We have a shelf carpet and uh, a really messy designed pencil with a little bit of all the sticker designs that they had. They just shoved them all here. I mean, why is the diamond poo brown? Who poops out the diamond? Who did the pooping of the diamond? No, talk to me. Talk to me. What are you eating? And how is it compressed so hard to create a diamond in your stomach? <laughs> That's it! Are they kidding? They didn't even give us any vinyls to decorate in the backing. They just give us a piece of cardboard with two sides as opposed to like the vinyl where you take your time, you stick it in the back so that it has a little bit more of a, an experience. This is probably the laziest real littles I have ever seen. That's this, look, all of this is, this, that's it. And then this trash of a backpack. Yeah, this is definitely going in the trash. We didn't get any of the hooks. We didn't get a little basket. This is this is all we're getting here. Okay, open, please. I can't handle you. So we get to choose between this side or the pink side. Do I want to have my eyes destroyed with pink? The answer is no. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the... Is this even a proper fit? Could, could you be a proper fit? There you go. So we have a proper fit in here. This is so pink, my eyes are hurting. And here we go with our shelf. Voila, another shelf. Oh gosh. Voila, and you can put your mirror on the side. I'm not going to hang on. There we go clipped right there. See, normally we would have had a little basket up here and I guess you could put your little, I don't know what this is for. I don't know, I'm just gonna put it here and your chandelier right on top. <laughs> has a chandelier who does i didn't know these were a thing and then you can put your stickers i guess in whatever space you got is there even space for the backpack no you would have to remove one of the shelves if you wanted to can you put it in there you go take take your garbage with you take take your garbage with you 
Zero and ten for me. Absolute trash. Zero and ten. Let's move on to the backpacks and the bags because I can't do this anymore. This is trash. Now let's start with the one that I'm going to feel like could be the least disappointing. But recently, Real Little stopped doing actual surprises. So what you see in the back is usually what you end up getting. I kind of miss the surprises, but meh. So it seems like we can get a notebook, pen, stickers, sticky notes, postcard set, and a zip pouch. But we are going to be on the lookout for the limited edition. As always, we've never gotten a single one of these, despite the fact that we've spent hundreds of dollars on Real Little's products. We have yet to see a single limited edition item, which makes me question if they even do exist. Maybe just they maybe they just put one one in the entire production line. They're like, let them find it. <laughs> and I absolutely love the Little Mermaid. So if anyone, I think Ursula is probably top top five best liked villains. So why not? Here you go. Here is the backpack. It definitely has this mermaid iridescenty color shift type look. And we go from a blue to a purple shift in color. I have to say the design itself of the bag is a little on the lazy side. We don't have any extra textures or anything to embellish it or anything tentacle like so that it is in fact Ursula. We just have a print right on top. And here's what the back looks like. We have black straps and again with the color shifting in the back. Really cool. Let's hear our zipper. Very smooth. All right, let's pull out our first item. This is pretty big and that is, oh wait, there's another item on the inside. Let's put that aside. That is a nice notebook. Look at that. It's not, not quite holographic. There's a bit of a color shift iridescent to it and the pages on the inside are blank. Very, very cool. Is that the same image? Yeah, yup. That's, that's the same image just inverted. So. Just saying, that's me as a consultant giving you free advice. You're welcome. <laughs> and here's what the back looks like. I love the fact that the tentacles do actually extend towards the back. I've already started salty, so I think this video is, if you like salt, make sure you hydrate because this is going to be plenty of it. <gasps> oh my God, I love this. Suddenly sugar, suddenly sugar. This is a really cool pencil case because it has like this fire looking effect on it and the design is at the front. We open it like a little ziplock and here's what it looks like. So the design is on one side only, but I love this very cool effect here. Really, really cool. Here's a bit of a close up. Next, let's pull out. There you go. Here's the pen. Here's the infamous shell. And of course, we're going to do a test on the ink. And my guess is that it's going to be obviously purple because the outside is purple. And yep, we have a purple ink. I really like these mini pens because you can carry them around with you everywhere. And if you need a pen, it's tiny, it's little, it's portable. It's it's everything you want it to be. Next here. OK, so these feel like the postcards potential. Oh, wow. Oh, that is holographic. Hang on, I'm going to put the holographic thing aside. I do see postcard. OK, which means we should have the stamps. OK, found it. OK, we have we have the strip and the itty bitty stamps. And what I like about the stamps is that they do have the little ridges around them to make them look like actual stamps, which is really neat. So that is that's that's always a bonus when they make them as stickers. And then this this is where the laziness kind of comes in. Here's another image of the exact same design from the notebook and the front of the backpack. It's really not appreciated when you, they don't put attention to detail like they did with their earlier series. I feel like the later series just got lazier and greedier. But the image is pretty cool. And the second one is Poor Unfortunate Souls. And this is what it looks like. Really cool. Love the design. Again, the tentacle and the design of the seashells. Next is, okay, sticky notes. So we have the poor unfortunate souls and we do get quite a bit. So if you like reading and you like taking notes, they definitely don't cheap out on these. And then the holographic thing. Oh my God. Look at this. These are really cool. Finally, something with a little bit more attention. It is a die cut and it is very much so to the theme. The next one again. Oh, what is that? Okay, it's her tentacles. I thought these would be her eel friends, but no. And we have the Triton. Okay, these are neat. These these are, these are good. I can accept that. And basically, these are the items that we get inside the Ursula backpack. Hang on, let's put this over here. It actually gave us quite a bit. and Everything is indeed to theme. And let's not forget, of course, the backpack itself. So we do have quite a bit of stuff right here. I'm going to give this a rating of, despite the fact that there are no surprises and some of the lazy design, mm, 7.5. And in case you're wondering, the strap is indeed black. So. 
Next. Let's go with something a little less dark, uh, the poison apple. <laughs> All right, here we have, dang it. Let's go ahead and check out the Snow White themed Real Littles handbag. And this one, as you can see, it's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. We have the six surprises. Again, these are not surprises. We're basically going to be getting everything in the back here. I don't want to spoil it for myself, so we're not going to look. But apparently we still have the chance at the limited edition flashlight that exists somewhere in the universe. I'm sure Salty Crafter probably found it in space and it's just keeping it close by with her. Look, look at her enjoy her flashlight and space. Good for you, Salty Crafter. I wanted to give a huge shout out to my friend and a friend of the channel, Royalty Soaps. She has her very own new line of soap called Simplicity. So if you're looking for a gift for someone who absolutely loves scented soaps and handmade items, this is the perfect occasion for you because these scented soaps are with essential oils. They're handmade, pump-free, sulfate-free, vegan. Oh, and did I mention that it is 100% recyclable packaging and don't have any synthetic fragrances? I absolutely love my collection and I have to say that my favorite one has got to be rose clay and sea salt. Go figure, it would be the one with salt. So if you're ready to check out Simplicity by Royalty Soaps, a fellow YouTuber and friend, I will leave them down below. Again, this is not sponsored, not affiliated. I'm just shouting out my friend. And similarly to the previous backpack, this handbag is a hard cover, so it's annoying. You don't get to have your items on the inside, but I'll show you what I mean. Oh, now we can actually see the details. Look at that. We can see the skull face and the little drizzle right on top. I love the details with the gold color. How do we open you? Do we push the apple? There we go. So here you can see we don't actually pull the items out of the bag like we did with the Ursula one. They put a baggie on the inside because it is transparent. Well, translucent. Here it is. So you can see the inside and that's their solution. Very, very cute, I have to say, but I just don't like those hard cases. So now we have to open another bag for the bag. Oh, this is pretty packed though. All right, first thing we get is upside down dwarfs. Okay, so you have to hold the pen this way. We have all, I can't name them all, but here they are. I know there's seven of them. Let's see if I can, if I can name them. We have Happy, Dopey, Grumpy Doc, Bashful. It's gotta be a feeling, right? An adjective mostly. I'm missing one. Stinky. I'm <laughs> What's the other one? Editor. What's the seventh one? I don't think I would have guessed it. Or maybe I could have. Probably not. Next here we have, oh, that is cute-esque-ish. A little bit. Kind of creepy. I love the art design. The art design reminds me a little bit of anime. So I really love what it looks like. Oh, is it sleepy? Did I forget sleepy? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> but the, the fact that this is cute, we still have the poison apple kind of hanging out in the background. So there's this cuteness but ominous going on. So it's like, hey, look at this, it's very cute. It is very ominous indeed. But I do love it. I really like the aesthetic. I'm okay with dark and cute at the same time. I am indeed, what is all the noise happening outside today? There's like no construction, it's cold. And then, oh, this is grainy. What is that? Okay, we have stationary with the dwarves. I mean, if I'm going to get Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, I kind of want to see more Snow White, to be very honest. I don't want to see men. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I want to see Snow White. Or the witch. Malef Malef Maleficent. Oh, a compact mirror. Finally. Ask and you shall receive. We have a kind of glitter, I'm guessing compact mirror. How's the mirror? Oh, this is a good quality mirror. Hang on, kind of? Hang on, let's put a finger in front. Yeah, it is pretty good. There is a distortion though. You can see that the camera is not fully circular. It has like a flat top, so there's definitely a distortion on there. So it's not a mirror that you could actually use. And then, oh no, I hate these. We have an absolutely useless miniature brush that has Snow White on it. Okay, finally, finally Snow White. That's just the second item that we have Snow White on. Next is, okay, the strap. I like the gold accent. We're gonna check it out. And then we have, oh, finally, another one. Is that the same? That is 100% the same image. And they printed it on a nail file. And the other side, we have this <laughs> Dodge Guard Dark Habit. It's the same thing. They're just reusing all the images. There's nothing special and that's it. 
Here's everything that we got inside the Snow White the box, which is mostly the, the, the dudes. Mostly the dudes. I'm going to give this unboxing a 5.8 on 10. And now for Alice in Wonderland. Now, I don't know about you, but Alice in Wonderland has always given me this uneasy feeling, so I never watched the movie all the way through. So, consequential, cons consequently? As a consequence, I did, never watched any of the variations of it in fully. I just I just could not do it. It's kind of like Fantasia. I also couldn't do it. But let me know if you like Alice in Wonderland, why? I'm genuinely curious. It's, it's not me being snarky, even though my voice sounds snarky. <laughs> I genuinely want to know, why do you like it? All right, let's, let's see. Actually, again, here's the bag. This one is a handbag. It does say six surprises, but it's basically everything here. And we do have another chance at this mystical flashlight. Oh, wow, look at that. It's so crafter again in the forest this time with a unicorn and the unicorn's enjoying the um flashlight good for you unicorn everyone's enjoying the flashlight but me good for you so we're going to see if we ever get yeah that of the elusive limited edition stuff And I absolutely love this baggie. It is super cute. It has like this, oh, the tail continues in the back. It has this nice beach vibe to it. Definitely feel like there should be maybe sunglasses if we're going beach style. Very adorable. Again, we're not looking at the back of the box because I do not want spoilers. And it opens up with a clip. And similarly to the Snow White one, we get a baggie inside a baggie because it is in fact transparent in some parts. And this bag's pretty small though, okay? All right, so first thing is the clip. So we have a dark pink clip that you can put on your bag and then put the bag on your bag. It's funny, we haven't gotten any charms as we usually do in the Real Littles backpack. Here's, as you can see on screen, in most of these backpacks, we would get a charm that you can put on your own baggie, but we haven't gotten any. This is so weird. All right, first thing is a compact mirror with the cat character. I think his name is Chestershire. Chest, it's like Worcestershire sauce. Chestershire. <laughs> We got Chestershire, gosh. And is it distorted mirror? Yes. So I'm gonna get an angle where you could see a little bit of distortion. It's a little harder to see. It's less distorted than the other one, but there is a distortion there. Very cute compact mirror. Even though the print design is a little wonky, it's not centered. There, if I saw it, you have to see it too now. <laughs> And then we have the notepad, pink with the little faces. Interesting that this is Alice in Wonderland, but we don't see no Alice. And oh, 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 a nail filer. I guess if we're going for the cat bag, then it's definitely going to be the cat character. I have a lot of these nail filers. They're great for sanding down sculptures, by the way. <laughs> I feel a pen. Wait, what is this? What? We finally... No, that is not a charm. That is not a charm. I thought this would be a charm, but I don't think this is a charm. So I think this is just a rubber band because it's an elastic. Usually charms are not in elastic form. It's a hair tie. Right here it says hair tie. Okay. And then this is a pen. Again, we have the pen with Shishishishire cat. Shishishishire. And it's definitely going to be pink ink is my guess. And it is indeed pink. I wish some of this ink, I know it sounds weird, but I wish some of these inks were like blue or black because if you're traveling and you have one of these pens, official documents can only be filled out with blue or black ink, apparently. Can't use color. And I think the last thing is the pencil case. This is so pink, I am a little nauseous. And here are different poses of Shush the Shur Cat. Oh, it's only on one side. Let's open it. And you can see here, the design is indeed on one side and the other side is fully transparent. And here's what it looks like. See, these things weirded me out as a little grain. I just I just couldn't do it. It was too much for me. And here's everything we got in the Shestershire bag. It is really to theme. It's a little nauseating, it's a little much, but it is, it is to theme. I just feel very unexcited about the items on the inside. We have some school items and then we have some aesthetic items and then a hair, I don't know. I don't know what they were going for. I'm going to give this a 5.2. Are my grades getting lower? Am I just that? So, are we going all downhill now? Now we have the zombie one. So I want to see if the zombie one, that I have no idea about anything about it, if it's actually good. Time for Zombies 3 Seabrook. Again, this says six surprises, but it seems like we're going to be getting everything here. And we have the uh, flashlight again. Oh, there you go, Salty Crafter again. Why are you in Antarctica, Salty Crafter with penguins? Why? Why are you enjoying the flashlight over there? Can you please bring it over here? I didn't think she would. All right, and enjoy your trip to Antarctica, darn Antarctica, salty. 
I'm not gonna spoil it for myself, but it does seem like we get zombie things. I really should check this show out if it is any good. Let me know in the comment section below if it actually is any good. And here it is, it is pretty bright. So we gonna go ahead and put our felt right behind it. The bag design itself looks pretty normal for a backpack. It has green straps, which I really like the accent color against the pink. There's quite a bit of glitter, but it is not the scratchy kind of glitter. So clearly it is done with a protective seal, so nothing will come out on your fingers. So far, I'm really digging the colors though. So let's see what we get. Maybe not knowing anything about the fandom will actually make this idea will actually make it good. First thing we have is, okay, a notebook. Holy shit, that is really holographic. Howling for cheer notes, brains over looks. Cute, I guess because it is zombie theme and the inside is basically empty. And the back looks the same minus the notes. Very cute, very on theme. Next, we have the pencil case. Okay, I'm guessing this means something in the actual show. We have Addison, we have Zaya. Is that Zaya or Zed? I'm not sure what these symbols mean, but I mean, it is pretty busy. It is cute. It's fully transparent. There you go. And the other side, which has no detail, nothing on the, this side. I know I'm not excited about it, but I don't know anything about the show. This feels like an eraser. And yes, we get an eraser with two floofy things and uh, hearts. It means nothing to me. I don't know. <laughs> then we have a pencil with the same markings that we got on the actual pencil case. So if we get closer, this is what they look like. It looks like some kind of alien language, but I'm guessing it's probably a zombie language since that's what the show is called, Zombies 3. And then we have stickers. I guess brains make sense. Those floofy things maybe is the zombie. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's the zombie virus, I'm not sure. And then we have Zed and Addison. I guess they are BFFs or something else. Full moon, do they turn into zombies on the full moon? I don't know, I'm not sure. Then we have the a brain, no, floofy thing. We have floofy thing bookmark. And that's it. And then we have the strap, which is a dark pink. Voila. Here's everything we got in there. I really can't rate this because I don't know the fandom, but it is a cohesive theme. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a baseline of seven. Let me know in the comment section below which one you thought was the most trashiest item that we got today. I still want to say it is indeed the locker. If you want to watch more Read Littles, here's a full playlist. If you want to watch the cutest, tiniest ever fidget toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.